So, I'm going to talk about the non-thinking, non-planning, non-studying black male. You know what? The black man just makes me so mad. He, uh, black men just makes me so mad the way they just don't think. No wonder they hard to they hard to get along with. Even, even in marriage, they hard to get along with. They hard to get along with as a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever thing. And they hard to get along with in marriage. Why? Because they don't think. They have no thinking skills. None. They they've been so brainwashed in years past that they have no thinking skills. And I tell you, you mothers, you'd be doing you a good favor if you tell your son to think first. To plan first, to study things first, you be doing him a favor. As you know, as I stated before, the black man does not think five minutes into the future. Period. Ever does not think five minutes into the future. Now we all have about the same amount of brain power. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the black man only uses a pea-sized portion of brain power, and when you put a a, a pea-sized portion. You, you put a gun in their hand, what you expect to happen? Of course he's going to shoot everybody. He only has a pea-sized brain. In other words, he's only using a pea-sized worth of brains. And you put a gun in his hand, of course he's going to shoot everybody. He's going to shoot the cops too. The black man does no planning. He's not thinking. That's why a 17-year-old will go to the neighbor's house, try to burglarize it, get shot dead by the neighbor, and go to hell. Go to hell in about five minutes. Okay, that's why three black men will try to carjack somebody and one of them gets shot dead. Or oh, how about this with three black men uh, going to a neighbor's house? All three of them dead and gone to hell. How about that? They, they're not thinking that what this neighbor has an assault rifle, which he did. All three of them dead. They ain't gone to hell. All three of them. Because they don't think. They have no thinking skills. They don't plan. They don't think. Now, you take like a black black man have no, they don't plan anything. Okay, I'm living in the projects. I'm going to do what everybody else do. I'm going to sell some drugs. So my mama can have a car. So I can pay my mama's e electric bill. So my mama can get her hair done. So I can buy a car. So I'm going to sell some drugs in the project. In fact, I'm going to start selling the 15. Dead by 17. I have seen it. They dead by 17. Because they don't plan nothing. They don't have any common sense. What's really in the street? Black man without a brain. Without, they don't have no thinking skills. That's who's in the street. That's who's wreaking all the havoc. Black men who have no thinking skills. Who have no planning skills. No, no studying skills. None. I grew up in a project, um, and a lot of black men would say, okay, I grew up in the projects. I didn't let the environment became become me. I knew what was going on in the projects. Uh, drugs, still, we got stolen from a few times. Drugs, stealing, petty prostitution. I knew exactly what drug dealer, I knew who the drug dealer was. I knew who the drug, everybody knew who the drug dealer, the local drug deal, dealer was. I knew petty prostitution. I knew all that was going on in the project, but I didn't let that environment become me. I wanted something more. I didn't want the projects. I didn't want that on my resume, so to speak. Okay, but some young black men, they say, I care, I live in the projects. I'm going to do a life of crime. I'm going to steal, I'm going to sell drugs, I'm going to take. That's what they say on uh, what, Scare Straight. I like to take. I like to take it. You know, one young black man said he almost got shot to death and he still haven't learned his lesson. He still went back stealing. Okay. Like this one young man, I knew him since he was about three years old. A cute little baby, cute little baby. So anyway, he grew up in the projects and he didn't want nothing either. So when he became a man, he tried to steal this white girl that he knew to try to steal a checkbook. And he stabbed her to death. And so now he's got life in jail. Got life in jail. Bye. Loser. Because he's raised by... I, I knew who his... I knew his mother. She was derelict. Okay. Raised by a derelict mother. He didn't want nothing in his life. Just the projects. Kill. Bye. Okay. 
And you know what? The black preachers have not gotten black, have not been successful in getting blacks out of poverty. It's right there in the word. Go possess the land. We have to be landowners. We should be land property owners. It's right there in the word. The first thing we have to do is the first thing the Israelites do. God told them to go possess the land. Go buy land. We should be buying land. And the preachers haven't even preached this since I've been going to church. Even though, you know, when I went to church as a teenager, it was fake. Phony, okay? Duh. But anyway, the secret to prosperity is land ownership. And all the all the preachers say is, look, if you give us give us some money, give us the ministry some money, God will bless you. Duh. Give us some money, give us some money, give us some money. And God's not going to even respond to a gimmick. No, that's not what God says. What God says is for you to work hard, be diligent, and you'll you'll be rich. Um, black preachers have not gotten out of poverty. Blacks out of poverty. Why? Because they do not understand poverty. You have to study poverty. What makes people poor? What can you do to alleviate that problem? Black preachers do not study poverty. Black preachers do not understand wealth. What is wealth? They don't even know what it is. Black preachers do not even understand money. They do not understand that four quarters equals a dollar. Four quarters do not, does not equal $10,000. For the life of them, they do not, do not understand that. And they won't understand. If they don't understand it right now, they're never going to understand it. For the life of them, they don't understand that. That four quarters equals one dollar. Four quarters does not equal $10,000. They don't understand it. So black preachers... They don't study poverty, they don't study wealth, and they don't study money. So they have failed to get blacks out of poverty. They have failed to get, I don't care what religion they preach it from. They have failed, uh, all the preachers that preach mainly to the black audience, they have failed to, I don't care what religion they talk about, they have failed to get blacks out of poverty. Failed. They have totally failed to get blacks out of poverty. So I think that black men are allergic to studying. I mean, they are. I mean, you can't even tell them to study drywall. Study, how do you put up drywall? Study the book first. Look, Mexicans from Central America, they're allergic to studying. They just say, show us how to put up drywall and we'll do it for $10 an hour. They don't want to study the books. Okay, they're allergic to studying. They just say, show us how to do it, we're going to do it. And that's why they put up drywall wrong. Now, I've seen a lot of ignorant black men. It has nothing to do with college education. It has nothing to do with that. They're ignorant in college. Dumb and stupid in college. I've seen them. Dumb and stupid in college. They don't know squat about money. I knew, look, I'm going to tell you, I knew more at 10 years old about money than I knew at 20. Because at least at 10 years old, I had sense enough to save my allowance. So I, I actually, uh, sometimes I was the only one in the house with money. I had more sense. More money since at 10 years old than I had 20 or 30 or 40 for that matter. Okay. I had more money since because like I said, at least I had sense enough to save my allowance and not spend it on candy. But see, all I met in college was stupid, ignorant black men, college educated. They knew calculus. They had taken that economics class, but they still stupid. They don't know nothing about money. Nothing. All of them stupid and ignorant. So, so being stupid and ignorant about money has nothing to do with whether or not you have a college education or not. A college education just maybe, it might get you a job. But it certainly won't get you entrepreneurship. Because look, a lot of, uh, a lot of people who are college educated, they're not um, good. Okay, they got a job. But I don't see them being entrepreneurs. Okay? I don't see that. So, you know, black men... Okay, look, they don't think. They don't think five minutes into the future. I've established that. They don't even think five minutes into the future. Should I do this? Should I go here? No. They don't, do not plan. Five-year plan, two-year plan, two-month plan, a 12-month plan. They do not plan for any time in the future. I'm just going to go out, I'll go out here in life and just do, the, do whatever. Okay, I'm in the projects. Okay, I, I go to I need to go to vocational school or do something. They don't plan. 
They, they don't study. How do you put up drywall? I'm not going to study the book. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I need plumbing. I need to understand plumbing. I'm not going to study that book either. <laughs> I got books on plumbing. I study plumbing. That's how I know how to fix my own plumbing. Okay? Because I study the books. Okay? I know how to build a deck because I got the books on it. But black men don't like to study at all. Allergic to studying. Allergic to books. Just say, okay, 15, I'm going to go out here and sell drugs and see how long I can get away with selling drugs. So they did by 17. Selling drugs. And look, look, in my neighborhood, there are at least five cartels. At least five cartels. They dumb and stupid too. Those men stay home all day and all they do is move drugs all day, every day. They don't, they don't even remotely go to work. The government thinks those Mexicans are going to work, but they aren't. They stay home all day, every day. Because you, you can drive by their house at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and they are there. They're not out working. You can drive by their house at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning. They're not working. They just move drugs all day, every day. So the black man doesn't study. And the black preachers, I, you know what? There are some preachers I do like. But they have not, you know, the preachers have not been successful. But maybe that's not their calling. I don't know. But they have not been successful in getting the black man out of poverty. Because the first commandment is to go possess the land. The first economic command that God gave Israelites, Israelites is to go possess the land. Have a nice day.